Hi everyone, it is Lindsay from Rented Space and thank you for joining me on this Saturday afternoon. Today I am pulling my garlic. Um, not something I want to do, it's too early, but I'm not sure if it's the frost, the extra heat, I don't know, but it's all, the bottom three leaves are all starting to die and all of it. So I've pushed it out an extra week, but, and a lot of it doesn't look very good at all. And I'm going to flip the camera around in a moment and show you, but honestly, it's looking pretty sad. I don't think I'm going to get any garlic out of any of this. My elephant garlic, maybe it's the only one that's got decent sized stalks, but to be honest, I think it was a bit of a waste. Um, it was all store-bought garlic, so that might have something to do with it. Um, but it was also my first year of um, planting garlic, so I guess you're going to see whether it worked or not. But if not, well, I guess it was a learning experience and I've learned something anyway. Um, and I'll end up with five pots back. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get into it. Okay, so this is one of just the small pot. Um, this was my leftover garlic and I think this was just yeah that was normal garlic um some of them don't look too bad i guess let's see like that's not too thin not as thick as my finger so i mean it's not good but but you can see the leaves are dying on all of them uh, this is my one and only pot of uh, elephant garlic so you can see dead leaves the three lit, three dead, three dead, all the way along, and they're okay stalks, so we'll see. Um, and I haven't watered this today. Um, and then in here, see, look, that's just, and that one's even worse. Like that is ridiculously thin. So I really don't like my chances. And this one again, lots of dead branches, very thin. I mean, look at that. That's. That one's even worse, that's atrocious. So some of them, like that one there is not too big, but looks like it might be starting to go mouldy, um, which is why I'm pulling it. Like there's, there's a couple of okay looking ones, but mostly they're pretty, pretty miserable to be honest. So anyway, let's see how we go. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, no. Nothing. They look more like spring onions. Even the bigger ones, nothing. Okay, so that's one bed down and that was a complete fail. Let's have a look at this one.
Oh, it looks like it started, but it looks more like a spring onion. See, look. Well, that's two down. And look, it was like they sort of started to. I mean, the weather was really crazy here. So I don't know if that's why it didn't get a proper winter. So it didn't go cold enough. I'm not really sure. I don't know if maybe my soil didn't have enough nutrients. Maybe I let it dry out. This is my last one of normal garlic. And I know for a fact I've got nothing in this. Because this is the smallest of all of them. It smells like garlic. <laughs> Just doesn't look like garlic. Nothing. try this one actually I forgot about this one this one is here as well mm. like I said it was only from the supermarket so you know it could be that I didn't get it from the farmer's market, but look, not one. And they're all starting to go quite soft, so if I had left it in any longer, it wouldn't have made a difference. It's, it's shot. All right. So last but not least, we're getting to... All right, so this is my last chance. My elephant garlic. Not look, see it's rotting. No, absolutely nothing. It's all rotting. Mm. So these look like they actually started to produce and I think it just got too hot too soon and it died back and I have been pushing it because I mean look I knew that the leaves were dead but I was hoping that I'd get something it's more like leek doesn't it well, I guess it is from the leek family, so. <laughs> but, nothing. Okay, well, bit of a short and sad video today. Um, anyway, if anyone has any tips, tricks, or reasons why they think this might be, um, like I said, I did leave it. A, I did think last week I was going to have to pull it up, but I gave it another week. Um, and as you can see, it just it didn't work anyway. Um, the elephant garlic I did think would be okay because it's from a local organic farm, so I figured that would be all right. <coughs> but I do know too, it's way too early. I shouldn't really be pulling it for another month or so. 
at least, if not a couple more, but... Okay, so, um... <clears throat> Obviously it was a complete failure, <laughs> which is fine. That's, that's the way you learn, isn't it? Um, but it, like I said, if you have any tips or tricks, um, and if you think you know why, besides the fact that it's way too early to be doing it, uh, to be pulling it up, um, that'd be great. Um, I did fertilize it, I did give it nutrients, I don't know if maybe I gave it too much nutrients, um, nitrogen, so it produced more leaves rather than the bulb. Um, but I've actually never ever before this season grown garlic, and I will definitely give it another go. Um, I think next time, I just, I couldn't buy bulb garlic up here, like I couldn't buy got bulb garlic to, to plant, so I just grabbed some from the shops and at least tried. Um, and I did get Australian garlic, um, it was from Coles but I did buy it from there and then the um, elephant garlic was from a local organic farm that's local so I did think that was probably my best option. Um, but I will try and find them at the farmers markets next month and I will ask them about what the best thing to do is and how to go about growing it um, and especially for this area. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. It's just a short video um, But thank you. I hope you are all having a great time and um, That you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much. Bye